Did that freak you out? <laughs> I wonder if when I upload this, I will just decide to delete that or if I'll just leave it in because here's the deal. You guys know from my last video that I was missing my remote um, and I ordered a new one today. Of all places, I can get it from walmart.com. So I think it's going to arrive next, what is it, like next Wednesday? So you'll just have a few more videos for me with an awkward beginning, and there you go. So anyway, how's it going, you guys? It is Tuesday, so happy Tuesday. Cheers to you with my ridiculously huge no BPA water bottle that I refill and I keep it in my house. Some of the things we'll be talking about that is not weird science, you guys, and that I'm learning. Um, all that bottled water that we drink, that the plastic, it's not good for you. It's part of the stuff that can make your hormones crazy. So, I'm behind in drinking my water, but I got this at Whole Foods because I've turned into a Whole Foods snob. For those of you that saw my little rant on um, Snapchat before, let me reference it. I have always been a Trader Joe's fan, and I still love Trader Joe's, I think they're awesome. Um, but it's actually out here where I live in Austin, the Whole Foods is closer to me, but I just had such an opinion, so I'm sharing with you. I had to school myself and admit that I was wrong. I had such an opinion that people that shopped at Whole Foods were like snotty douchebags, like, oh, I shop at Whole Foods and I didn't want to shop there. And then I had to go in there for something. And I ended up seeing all of these great brands like the, that are paleo and just really fresh. And uh, the selection was great. And yeah, I mean, stuff can be expensive, but when you start really taking care of your health and really paying attention to the food you put in your body, you're gonna spend more money on the food that you put into your body. And what's interesting is what I've observed about myself as I eat better, I, I eat less. I'm not random snacking throughout the day, you know, like I have fresh um, pastured eggs and um, non-hormone antibiotic blah 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 uh, bacon. Like that's what I had for breakfast today, two pastured eggs and two slices of amazing bacon. I've suddenly become a bacon person. But I don't find myself randomly snacking through today, the day. So, you eat quality food, you'll spend more on the food that you buy um, versus, you know, I don't know, two or three dollars for something that can sit in your cabinet until your grandkids are having their grandkids. You know, you spend a higher amount uh, per, per capita, if you will, but you'll eat less and you'll eat better and you will have less need to buy. I'm going off on a long tangent here, as usual. You have less need to buy um, things for your stomach because you're not going to be like I used to be bloated all the time. You'll probably find yourself buying less um, just any over-the-counter drugs because a lot of the chronic issues that you used to have when you ate crap, you'll notice you don't have anymore. You'll just feel better. So anyway, I went into Whole Foods that day and I didn't know how some of their things worked, buying in bulk and how the almond butter machine <laughs> worked. So I was asking people and everyone was so like insanely friendly. And then there were actually quite a lot of good looking men there too. So I was like, note to self, wear something cute and put some makeup on next time. <laughs> and long story short, every time I went there, they were so helpful, so friendly. It was such a good vibe that I am now a Whole Foods snotty douchebag. There you go. Um, but this, when I bought this water, I noticed that it said something like no BPAs. Um, see how old I am? I have to go like this. Um, and that's weird too. Remember I told you guys I thought I needed glasses and I went and got my eyes tested? I have 20-20, but still when it comes to holding something close up, I have to go like this. That's what happens when you get old like me, people. Anyway, it says no BPA on it. And yes, it's still echoing in here. Here's the latest update on my um, furniture situation. So we're here, obviously, in my kitchen. Do you see behind me? My very zen um, countertops. I'll see if I can show you this area. Because, see it over here too? Wait, look how cute. That's all that's there. And let me just show you, because this is over here. I don't think I'm gonna keep this here. But how cute is 
use that? I got it at Home Goods. Um, but truly, my heart does belong to Texas because I love it here. Um, but yes, I I remember I saw that. I don't know someplace where like it was a kitchen that was very modern and it just had that like no tchotchkes and stuff on the counter I'm like I think that might be my new vibe and indeed it is so there's nothing on the counters and I really love it it's like this is Kelly 2.0 Fitfluential 2.0 this is where I live 2.0 and y'all know that I sold like at least 75% of my stuff back in Chicago best feeling ever best process ever course it would be a, a Kelly Alexa vlog if I wasn't fussing with my hair but I am glad I got my bangs trimmed so I I have gotten so I have been shopping like a boss somebody's out of my out there that's okay um, so I have um, some furniture is being delivered tomorrow my bar stools I got a table for my patio um, I got oh a chair for my office and a chair for my bedroom. So that's being delivered tomorrow. I feel like there's something I'm missing. No, that's not it. Um, I'm stretching. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you about this shirt too, because this is from Jenny. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm all over the place as usual. So that's coming tomorrow. And then the stuff I got from Z Gallery for my living room, which will take away this massive echo that's in here. Um, hopefully that's gonna be arriving next week because I am eagerly waiting that. I can't wait to, right now, <laughs> I only have one chair. So, like, it's funny, Kevin came over here and we had to have a meeting and we were just standing here at my counter and I'm like, I can't say have a seat. I have my one big mushy chair over there, but it's not like, you know, he can't stand there and then I have a meeting standing there talking to him. And in my office, the chair that I have underneath my stand desk is a swapper chair. So it's like a, like a bouncy, good for your back chair. So there's just no place to sit. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. I know a lot of you have emailed me and asked me to do a house tour. I will when there's furniture here, when the rest of the stuff. And then the next phase of shopaholicism is going to happen is me getting paintings because I have a lot of wall space here and um, I sold most of my paintings back in Chicago and I'm going for like a different vibe, a little bit more modern, which I like. So my BFF at Z Gallery, his name's Tracy, he's gonna help me. And um, anyway, I'll probably still do a tour for you guys till then. Anyway, so let me give you um, a little update uh, because you'll see I'm kind of in workout clothes, but interestingly enough, it is four o'clock and I'm not gonna work out because as much as I hate this part of the process, you guys, I'm, I'm listening to what my doctors are telling me and I'm listening to what so many of these experts that I know and that I get to hang out with and that are um, going to be guests or have been guests on our Fit Fluential Radio podcast um, or are going to be on our Twitter chats. Um, I'm just realizing that per my last, I almost said voicemail, per my last vlog, uh, as, as much of a dent as my health has taken the past year, uh, particularly the last six months of last year, but really all of it, um, I, when you have adrenal fatigue and you have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, and, and I, I mean really overwhelmingly, the, the Hashimoto's, the, that part, what I, the, the symptoms that I feel with that are more physical and, and, and I guess more fitness related, right? It's about not being able to lose weight. And, you know, I, like I told you, I had a, a lot of fat that, or thickness that I gained around my core um, and having belly fat for the first time in my life. All of that has to do with hypothyroidism. I mean, you certainly feel tired and sluggish and you have brain fog, but it's also a lot about um, body temperature and, and then um, just being gaining weight in certain areas of your body. Hormonal imbalance, that's a whole other thing. And, and all of these really can result in being very tired. But I will tell you guys, without question, one of the things that I did not have to the extent that I have now is being so dramatically and, and, and very quickly tired, like beat in the afternoons. And it's usually right about now. I can, I can kind of start to feel it happening now. Um, 
and, and I'm tracking all this stuff. I'm tracking my body temperature, I'm tracking you know, this because it's interesting to watch things slowly starting to turn. I actually go back in to get my blood work done tomorrow and then I see Dr. Sebring next week. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how after three weeks of his guidance and his um, protocol, how much that has affected things. I think we're really gonna need to ratchet up my, um, the medication he has me on for my cortisol, for sure. Um, because what's happening is when I wake up in the morning, I am jumping out of bed and like old Kelly O, right? Like the good Kelly O. And I get to about two o'clock and that's when things start to slow down and I'm like, okay. Now bear in mind people, I am getting out at five in the morning, okay? Um, but I go to bed early too. But it, about this time is when I start to feel so tired and it hits me like a like a brick wall where it's just all of a sudden I'm like oh my god and I just it's it's crazy I'm sharing this with you because please know I didn't used to have this um it, it's something that happened as last year got more highly stressful more chaotic and whatnot and it is so not like me um I have to be very careful and take it easy and back to the working out thing a lot of you have asked, excuse me, what my plan is and what my doctor has told me and everything I've read supports this is as I'm healing and, and healing meaning getting my hormones balanced, healing the adrenal fatigue, um, healing uh, and reversing, hopefully reversing but addressing the Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Have you noticed like my voice is also going? Um, I have to only work out like I've been told to work out two times a week. And this is for, for like my heavy lifting, right, and stuff. Two times a week, 30 minutes max. You guys know how hard that is for me. I mean, to, to feel like your body isn't where you want it to be and you want to fix it, especially if you're someone who's passionate about fitness, right? And you love hitting markers and, and I love working out. To only be able to do two days a week is very difficult for me, but on the other hand, when I pay attention to how I feel right now, and, and, and this came out of the blue, it comes out of the blue every day, but just generally speaking in my life, being this tired and, and this quick every afternoon, like clockwork, um, has never happened before. And so that to me just says, there's something wrong with you. You gotta take this seriously. I don't want to deal with this ever again. I don't, I don't wanna be here. So um, I'm willing to do what the doctor says and I'm gonna, really, I'm, I'm going to follow it. I'm going to do two um, weight training workouts a week. Um, I hope when I talk to Dr. Sebring, he'll say, you know, how about we do, like what I really love for him to tell me is that I can do um, maybe two weeks at two workouts a week at 30 minutes and then maybe go up to three and then do that for two weeks and then, you know, kind of inevitably maybe what my max should be. And this is a huge mindset train. Uh, I've got to train my mind to do things differently and, and understand things differently, but um, maybe I just have to get over the fact that I'm never going to work out six days a week again, and that's not ideal. Um, all of the research is showing you don't need that much. I just like that. But you know what? I love yoga so much that, and I'm allowed to do yoga, so a lot of times now what I'll do is, probably this evening I'll do yoga, um, and it's a great way to wind down. But I might get to the point where, I mean, let's get real. 50% of why I wanna work out so much has to do with the fact that I want to get my body in its best shape again. I had never reached my final goal, but it certainly isn't fun for me right now to feel so not like myself. Um, but just sharing with you guys to keep it real so that you know, um, this is what you have to do. There's no overnight fix. Even if you're healthy, there's no overnight fix for fitness and, and reaching your goals and we shouldn't have that, but there especially isn't any overnight fix and you have to commit to the long term if you really want to fix things that are as extensively damaged as your hormones and so on. So that said, I'm going into it with a positive attitude. I know I didn't finish this, but I do want to share this top with you because it's so cute as I wrap up because I see, of course, I didn't do 10 minutes. I got closer to 15. Um, this... I hope you can see it. I don't, I don't know if you can. Can you see it? How cute is it? It says, I actually don't know. I think it says she lifts. 
This is one of our um, Fit Flintel ambassadors, Jenny Grove, and she's out in Utah and she has her own clothing line. So I will make sure I put the link up down below. <laughs> that I move the camera and I don't feel like moving it again. Um, but she has just such cute clothing gear. And there's this top. I'll make sure I take pictures and put it in one of my blog posts on kellyalexa.com in the coming week. Um, she's got caps, she's got workout gloves, and she's just a buffalicious babe. That's all I have to say. So you have to check her out. Um, tell her I sent you. And um, that's it. So I'm going to go take a walk. That's all I'm going to do today for my movement. And um, because I'm listening to my doctor and I will keep you guys posted, um, I will be shooting more videos in the coming days. I will be honest with you guys, I shot two other videos last week after my last ones. And when I went to upload them, there was a major glitch. So I shot two videos for you and I had to delete them. I'll promise that won't happen again. I will talk to you guys later.